Hey guys, and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel, and of course, right now, everyone is waiting for the next major Animal Crossing update, which could be the 2.0 update. Now, even though this would be a pretty big update, I actually want to take a look at some of the things that we most likely will not see in the next Animal Crossing update, or maybe even at all in any future update for the game. We're going to be looking at some data mines and information that we know already. So if you're excited for this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. So I think one thing that a lot of players have speculated about and desired that I see in my comments so often is Tortimer's Island and I had to put this one in the thumbnail because this is probably going to be the biggest one on the list that I wanted to talk about but there are so many interesting things that most likely will not make it back in a future update and sadly I do think Tortimer Island is probably one of those things. So when we look at Animal Crossing New Horizons data mines, there is practically no evidence anywhere that Tortimer's Island will ever be making a return or anything similar to it. Now, obviously minor spoilers here, but the data mines do kind of show that things like gyroids and the roost will make a comeback. So those types of things that people really, really want will most likely be making a comeback at some point in the future. However, Tortimer's Island has not been hinted at anywhere, and unless Nintendo did a really good job of hiding it, or they're just gonna add it later on in a few years, I honestly don't think Tortimer's Island is gonna be coming back, and certainly not within the next update. Now, Tortimer's Island would have been really fantastic. Those of you who don't know what Tortimer's Island is, it was an online island that you could go to, or you could go offline as well, where you could catch summer bugs and summer fish, and also play a bunch of different mini games. By playing the mini games, you'd get cool rewards and cool items, so it was a ton of fun, and you could play online with your friends. A lot of you will probably know that Animal Crossing New Horizons doesn't have the best online and there isn't too much to do, so Tortimer's Island would have been a really fantastic thing for them to add, but currently it does not seem like Tortimer's Island will be coming back. Who knows though, it's always possible, and the game does seem to have a lifespan of maybe a few more years, so we'll have to see if they do decide to add it in the future. Next, I know another thing that people really want to see is a major dialogue update for the villagers. And I think even with a major update like 2.0, I don't think we're going to see much improvement in the dialogue and the interactions that we have with our villagers. Now, the data mines have confirmed and basically shown us that things like villager visits to your houses where a villager will come over to your house and hang out with you and maybe ask you to come to their house, that is basically almost confirmed to be returning. In fact, modders have even been able to put that back into the game. That's how finished that feature actually is. It's just waiting to be released. But in terms of a major dialogue update or even more interactions, stuff like, stuff like hide and seek and such, it doesn't seem likely that that's going to happen any anytime soon in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, it's such a shame because to be honest with you, the people who write Animal Crossing are really good writers. They do a really fantastic job. And in a second, in this little clip you're seeing on the screen, I'm about to have a conversation with Bob that is probably one of the best pieces of dialogue in the entire game. However, the villagers simply don't have enough dialogue. So you tend to find yourself saying the same things to them again and again, and you hear just the same lines and it gets so tiring, especially if you've been playing for as long as many of us have. So I really think we do need to see a dialogue update, but I honestly don't think that we're gonna see a major dialogue update for these villagers or any major new interactions with them that we haven't seen before in a 2.0 update or at any point in the future. I think the villagers will mostly stay like they did. They're probably quite close to New Leaf and those villagers never really changed. So yeah, a bit of a shame, but it does kind of seem like that's gonna be the case. Next, I wanna talk about something that old players really, really want back, and these are the different furniture sets that we have in Animal Crossing New Leaf and the previous games that have kind of been there since the very start. Now, we do have a few of these in New Horizons, but you'll notice that in terms of indoor furniture, the game does not have much. And I hate to say it, but I really genuinely do believe that most of the old furniture sets that we had in previous games will not be making a comeback anytime soon, or maybe even ever in New Horizons. I think New Horizons kind of wanted to start a new slate and just introduce mostly outdoor furniture with some stuff that can be used indoors. You'll notice there's a ton of furniture you can use to decorate the outside of your island, but not as much to decorate the inside of your home. And I do think sadly it's going to stay that way. Maybe if Nook's Cranny got some kind of upgrade or if Gracie returned with her high-end expensive furniture, we might see some of those types of sets return. I think that's definitely possible, like the gorgeous furniture and 
the princess and stuff like that, maybe that could make a comeback. For example, the mermaid furniture set made a comeback. That was really cool to see. But it does seem, generally speaking, like these furniture sets aren't going to make a comeback because Nintendo has geared this game much more towards decorating the outside your island. And you'll notice all of the items that you can craft are very rustic looking, you know? They're like very simple things that basically anyone could make. So they don't really sell too many furniture items in Nook's Cranny. The majority of like the best items you're going to get are ones you craft yourself. So unless they decide to start selling us more items in the shops, I don't think we're going to see these furniture items return. Which is such a shame because so many of them I really, really love. The gorgeous furniture set from Gracie is my favorite furniture set in any Animal Crossing game. And to think that we probably won't see it come back at any point is such a shame. But again, anything is possible and it's not guaranteed that these won't return. But right now it does seem like there's no evidence that they will. Next, I want to talk about quality of life updates. In the previous update, we did actually get some really cool quality of life updates for designs. We got to see these new types of designs that you could create, custom designs, and then also they did something which was really requested by fans, and that was expanding our design inventory by 50 so we could have even more design slots, which was a really great quality of life change that so many people wanted. However, I do have to say, I don't think that we're going to see some of the other quality of life updates that we've wanted within the next update, even if it is the 2.0 update. Again, there's no evidence of this, though this would be something harder, I think, to data mine because it'd be such a sort of small and kind of obscure change. It's not like a brand new thing, it's just a change to an existing thing. So it is possible, but it does seem pretty unlikely to me given how Nintendo has updated the game recently that we'll be seeing some of those quality of life changes that fans have highly requested. I'm specifically talking about being able to craft multiple items and also, you know, things like faster dialogue in the game, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Things like that that players really want, you know, being able to craft like tons of bait at once and tons of the same item at once. I honestly think Nintendo purposely didn't add those in. I think they know players would like them, but to be honest with you, the longer it takes you to do these things, like crafting one by one by one, as annoying as it is, it does make you spend more time within the game, and that is something that Nintendo definitely wants. That's actually something that a lot of mobile game developers do, where the longer you spend in the game, the better the game will kind of perform on the app stores and such, I believe. Of course, it's not quite the same here on a Switch game, but it's got the same principle where the longer you spend in the game, the better for Nintendo, basically. So, yeah, I think that's generally their strategy. Pocket Camp, though, did get a lot of quality of life updates later on, which was really good. So maybe we could see some, but I wouldn't keep your hopes too high about seeing some of those really, really requested ones. Because, let's be honest, it has been ages since people have asked for these, and most of them haven't happened. The design one was definitely a nice surprise, though, so who knows. Finally, I want to talk about the game's online experience. Now, I hate to say it because I love Nintendo, but Nintendo does not have the best online experience for their games. Of course, you have to pay for Nintendo Switch Online now, yet you really don't get a great online experience in New Horizons. Sure, you can play with more people, but there's nothing for you to do when you go online, especially if you've been playing the game for a while. Sadly, I don't think we're going to see a major update to the online service in this game. I think that's probably more dependent on what Nintendo can pull off themselves rather than just the developers of this game. So they'd probably have to work quite closely with Nintendo to actually improve the online experience. I think even if they sped up the, D the Dodo's dialogue and they you know, kind of made some of the options a bit quicker to get to, that would be great. But, uh, I mean, that's kind of likely, I guess, but in terms of them adding major new stuff to do online with your friends, I don't think it's going to happen, sadly, but it would be really great if it did. Once again, it is something that we don't seem to have any evidence of actually happening. It's not been seen within the data mines or anything like that, but we could be surprised, you know, the data mines can't always reveal everything, and there have definitely been some surprises that we didn't expect. So maybe we will see an online to the up, maybe we'll see an update to the online services, but right now it does seem unlikely. So I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think we're going to see any of these things that I listed, or do you agree with me and kind of some of the data mines that we've seen that we most likely aren't going to see some of these come back to the game anytime soon? Or 
Could we be totally surprised and get an update that does include all of this crazy stuff like Tortimer's Island and massive quality of life updates and tons of new furniture? Could that happen? I guess we'll have to see. I definitely do think things like the roost and gyroids and such are on the horizon. You know, I've made tons and tons of videos about those kinds of things that I really want to see come back. So I thought it'd be interesting to kind of talk about things that honestly don't look like they're going to come back. And obviously I really want them to, I desperately do. But at the moment, it does kind of seem like we might not be getting those. So if you watched until the very end of this video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. If you want to help support my channel, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to become a channel member. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks for doing so and it helps support my channel out too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing content. You can check out my links and my merch in the video description and two more videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you once again for watching and catch you in the next video.